Yeah, that looks that looks great. So from what I'm seeing here, how do the wings look? Fabulous. Really? It's fabulous. I keep looking around here, and I, I, I just have to re-emphasize that when I grow up, I want to be me. <laughs> it's just going to be awesome. God, that was all wrapped, and I guess it was stitched, too. Yeah, it's like stitched to the tube or something. Yeah, the, well, they, the Germans always used to wrap this stuff, and then they... Uh, oh, that is so cool with the lozenge on the inside. That is just yeah, too cool. Neat. Nobody's ever done that since World War I. It's all hand brushed. That's pretty cool. Got all the markings yeah, in it. The that is just too cool. Man, I guarantee you, Aaron Stu Dett's airplane didn't look this nice <laughs> when it came out of the factory. God dang. It's a pretty good size airplane. That's all hand. Uh, he didn't use the tape there either. You can see you can see a little bit of waviness right there. So it was all freaking hand hand brushed. That was his girlfriend. Can't remember what her name was. Lowe's. I think that was short for something. God, the radiator looks nice. Steve, the guy built our uh, Roberts engine for the Benoit did the radiator. I think somebody did the core and then they did the, the shell. Okay. I got the end. Okay. We'll get it out. Why, do you want to keep it vertical or do you want to go horizontal? Yeah, we can put it on the saw horse. Got it? Yeah, let's just go horizontal from here. We got it? Hang on. Okay, well, I just want to make sure we get it on the ribs. So don't lay anything down until we know it's on the ribs. And yeah, get that side first. Okay. Get your own. Okay, you're on a rib here. Come on down. Okay. Take that sawhorse out a little further. Yeah. Out. Okay, get ready to put the dollies under. Are you ready for the test? Yeah. We're going to set it down and get the dollies under like we did before. We are. Too cool. Yeah, we got a lot of handprints on it. We're going to have to wipe off. Okay, so I got machine guns there. Okay, so it's pretty cool. It's got a, a throttle over here, but it's also got one like on the albatross on the stick. So you can actually, you know, two handed. Uh, if you're in a dogfight, you're truly trying to rack it around a little bit. The, uh, of course, that's the tack, just like the albatross. Uh, the little grease for the water pump thing is over on the left side. The albatross is over on the right side. It's got the hand pump, just like the albatross. Uh, there's your starter mag right there. It's got the normal magneto switch there, just like the albatross. Uh, temp gauge is on the it's got a little panel actually. This is probably one of the first World War One airplanes that had a, like a, almost a real panel that the Germans had. That's your air pressure gauge. And then here's your fuel uh, system here. So it's a similar setup to the, uh, the Albatross, but it's actually got different little placards on there. So that's kind of interesting. Too cool. And if you'll notice on the inside here, you see the originally the airplane when Udet got it would have been delivered. We're pretty sure with the uh, uh, the lozenge fabric on it, but then when they painted it over red, it still would have the lozenge. So most people don't even, uh, you know, would never do that. They just paint it red on the outside and have plain fabric. So I think this is the first time anybody's done this since World War One. That's got to be the advanced retard right there. Um, got a pretty cool view. There's your fuel gauge up in the front there. You got two machine guns, all the feed chutes for the ammunition. That is too cool. All it needs is one happy pilot. Hey Fred, it's Kermit. Hey, Good, yeah, so it look, we got it completely unloaded, safe and sound, and it looks great, you know, so uh, I just kind of wanted to check with you really quickly. I mean, it, 
it's probably pretty obvious how it goes together, but I just wanted to double check and my assumption is you probably put the rear struts in the thing and get the wing up and put the top wing on first, then the bottom wing and the struts later. Or... Okay, cool. Good. Sounds good. Did, did you do it level or did you do it with tail low? I mean, and, and we may want to do it level, level the fuselage if we put it up with a forklift or something. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. I just wanted to check. And, uh, but anyway, it looks great, you know, so uh, we got a D7. Let's start thinking about a D8. Good deal. Oh, super. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it. We'll uh, send you some pictures when we get it all together. Okay, Andy, what you're going to have to do okay. is pull down a little bit right there. Right. I tell you what, it's going to be easier to put these like this, Ken, and probably just pick the wing up and Maybe pop enough. those in. Okay, let her down, let her down. Good? Yep. Yeah. If it shows any signs of dragging, left hand pick. Once it clears the drag. Oh, well, we're going to have to do a job swap then. I'll tell you what, let me come around and I'll sneak under there real quick. Are you going to do that? Yeah. You got stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, All right. Here we go. I got it. Well, they do look like. They want a piece of cake together. <laughs> this is crazy. Is. Rebel kit. Oh, my forward. That's all the way forward. Uh, okay. Joey's tip forward. There you go. Close okay. up a little bit. Come up a little bit. Perfect. Forward tiny bit. There you go. Wiggle. Up the way or me. Uh, well. Put the, put the bolts in there. Yeah. You there? Over here. Um. I'm not so sure. I think if you can just kind of steady that in. The other one's brassed. Yeah, it is. It's been here a while. This is my favorite. Right here? Yeah, okay. to push down or something. Okay. A little, a little in. Almost in. Okay. On down. Put the stopper Didn't uh, they do that in Waldo Pepper? Didn't I gotta have streamers too? Yeah.
Okay, so we got the Fokker together here, and uh, unfortunately most of my guys have taken off for the summer vacation, but uh, they'll be back soon. I'm still actually waiting for the uh, aircraft registration back from the FAA, which we'll need, plus we've got to do a weight and balance and get that all sorted out, the paperwork ready for the FAA to come out and license the airplane. Once we get that done, we'll do some taxi tests and uh, maybe get to fly it soon. I can't wait.